never-ending saga of jobs that turn into other jobs. While I was uh, working on the chain plates, I had borrowed a friend's deep 9 16th socket because the bolts are two inches long. They're actually a little bit longer than the originals that came out, and a normal socket bottoms out. So I borrowed a two-inch socket. While I was using it, I dropped it, and it rolled into the bilge into a spot where I couldn't get it. So today I bought a magnet and tried to fish it out with the magnet, and I did not succeed. So then I looked for another access to the bilge, which I found. I removed the floorboards, and I moved another board underneath the floorboards, and found the bilge. And much to my surprise, the bilges are chock full of water. So being the clever guy that I am, I simply turned the power on and flipped the switch for the manual bilge pump, only to discover that it wasn't working. So I wanted to get the water out for more reasons than one. And what I did was I set up a siphon. I used a, a hand pump to start the siphon with a common garden hose, which I stuck out of one of my through hull seacocks, which I have not yet sealed up, thankfully, and uh, set the siphon. Now, of course, the siphon is fairly slow, but it is working. So I'll let that dribble away, and in the meantime, I'll find other things to do around the boat. There certainly is a lot of them, and uh, I guess I'll have to add the bilge pump to my list of things to do. <laughs> Work on Little Bear continues apace. I'm making some good progress. All of the chain plates are back on. I have to clean up some of the butyl and uh, caulking that was a little bit extra. But other than that, I'm ready to call the rigger. But I'm not going to call the rigger until the boomkin and the bowsprit are in place. In order to get the bowsprit on, I need to install the Samson post, which is a project that I was beginning to work on uh, previously. Now, I had a little bit of problem. It's uh, up in the V-berth, actually in the chain locker, which makes uh, access kind of awkward. It's not uncomfortable like it was working on the chain plates, but it was awkward. And the Samson posts are bolted through the bulkhead. Now, that would not be a problem if they bulted through directly, but they don't. The, bulk, the bulkhead and the holes for the Samson posts on the deck aren't lined up. So I have to install spacer blocks in between the bulkhead and the Samson post. That is a problem. This is my Samson post. Well, one of them, the other one's still on the boat. And the bulkhead runs this way. And they need to be bolted through bolted through the bulkhead this way. So I've got to create a spacer block top and bottom between the Samson post and the bulkhead. So it's no big deal, but it's just awkward. And I wanted to put a little bit of epoxy. Uh, seems to me that the anchor locker is a fairly damp place, a wet place, a good place for rot. So I want to epoxy, penetrating epoxy, that particular bulkhead to prevent any rot. There isn't any there at the moment that I'm aware of. There's a little bit in the cosmetic wood around it, but not in the actual bulkhead itself. I suspect it was probably made from treated marine plywood originally, and that's a good thing. So, the issue then, is I have to create a spacer block here, spacer block here, and bolt them through. So what's the problem? Well, I want to epoxy them in place, which means I need to glue them, basically, to the bulkhead. In order to do that, I have to squeeze them to the bulkhead, so the obvious solution is to screw them. I've done four sets, I think, so far. Every time I put a, a screw through one of the spacer blocks, it just simply splits. And it doesn't matter which way I cut the block within, in terms of the grain, it just splits. So I've treated my spacer blocks with uh, epoxy resin, hoping that'll give it some strength. And I've over-drilled the holes because the screws don't need to be there permanently. Once the epoxy is cured, the epoxy will be stronger than the screws anyway. So hopefully today I can get these guys mounted and then I can continue working on the deck prep.
in order to get the paint on, in order to get the cap rails on, in order to get boom can and bowsprit on, and then I can call the rigger. So we're getting very close. It's just a lot of little things that are time consuming. Enough yammering on, let's get to work. Well, I successfully installed the spacer block. I wanted to give you a close-up to show you why I'm having a bit of a problem with this. So you're actually underneath the uh, starboard side bunk in the V-berth. And this is where the bolts go through the bulkhead for the Samson posts. Now, originally, they had installed carriage bolts through these holes. Now, when you're trying to take them out, the nuts on the other side were a little corroded. You can see from the condition of the bolt that uh, there's some good corrosion on there. So I was able to back the, back the nuts off a little bit. And then once the bolt had enough room to push back from the, to push back from the bulkhead, of course, it just spun. With this one here, I was able to put a vice grip on the end of it, grab it and, and turn the nut on. This one here, I couldn't. So I grabbed my fine tool and I cut a little square out of the wood and pushed the bolt through and took it out that way. But now I have to get it back in. And of course, it's a great big hole. There's a great big ragged hole in the bulkhead. So what I've done is I've uh, screwed, screw there, screw there. So what I've done is I've screwed the block through the bulkhead and I've put epoxy on the, the other side. So the screws are pulling the block up against the bulkhead. Once the epoxy is cured, I can take the screws out. And then I will sand it down and I will put this block on the inside. Let me put it that way. Run the bolt through it and do the same thing on this side. I'll screw it into the bulkhead, put some epoxy behind it, and then crank it down. And that'll give me a nice, secure Samson post. But right now there's no more that I can do here. I have to wait for the epoxy to cure. So I think I'll take my uh, stamps and posts inside and see if I can't uh, cut the the bite for the road into them. And then I'll grab some penetrating epoxy and epoxy up the, uh, the inside of this bulkhead. Here's what I'm doing. I've uh, got to carve in a little bit on each corner of the Samson post so that you can wrap anchor road or rope or docking lines or whatever around it without them slipping off. Uh, so what I've done is I, I don't have a real big router bit. I've got a, a quarter round and a three eighths round. So I took the, the bigger one, three eighths round and started it. And to finish it, I'm going to use my uh, belt sander. I'll just round each corner off and hopefully it won't look too disgusting. productive day. I put a bull nose on my Samson post. I haven't uh, epoxy, penetrating epoxy sealed them yet because I have to uh, actually do a, a test fit, mount them, and then put the bowsprit on to drill the hole through the Samson post and the bowsprit. But that's a project for another day. I also sanded down and primed the foredeck with epoxy primer, which is kind of nice. It means I can uh, sand it down and then paint it in preparation to put the boom can and the 
bounce right back on. In the meantime, fair winds, following seas, God bless.